Welcome to the 44th National down here in Florida. Uh, my name is Marty Vieira. I uh, live in Arlington, Texas. Been vanning since 1990. Uh, met a lot of good friends. I call them all family now. But uh, the latest addition to my family is this 88 Chevy Astro. Uh, as you can see, the name is Whiskey Sundown. Uh, I've owned it for a little more than a year and a half now. Um, it has been, this is the second national it's been to, and it's been to several truck ins between here and uh, Kansas City as well as Colorado, uh, and enjoying it very, very much. The, uh, it's an 88 Chevy Astro, um, eight inch lift. It has four wheel disc brakes. Uh, also, um, it's a S10 transfer case with a Dana four wheel drive unit in the front. Like we like the old school, has the hubs for four wheeling if possible. But this truck has not seen any mud and probably will not see any mud as long as I, as long as I own it. Um, the paint was off of the factory paint out of, out of the base. Beige is out of uh, factory 88 Chevrolet house. The gentleman that built it, Keith Gilo, uh, ordered it this way special. Had a five speed put in, manual transmission put in it. Um, and a graphic friend of his in Conifer, Texas, Conifer Colorado uh, put the graphics on it, this thing. Um, as you can see, it has lots of chrome. Uh, I have two chrome drive shafts underneath. I have chrome shocks, uh, of course, chrome bumpers. I have a chrome hitch and uh, some parts on the hood that are chrome, which we'll show you shortly. Okay, also has a chrome, uh, chrome grill, a chrome visor, which is uh, pretty hard to find. Uh, and it does not move at all with the winds that I've dealt with uh, since I've owned it for a year and a half. Right. As you guys can see, it's a little bit of uh, wood trim there, uh, chrome front plate on here. Uh, chrome air breather. It's a stock 4.3 manual transmission. Uh, just had some, uh, it just has duals running. Uh, one pipe coming out and two above. Uh, they split up between the uh, end of the, uh, the rear axle and they split up. Whiskey Sundown's his name and it's just right. See, it's uh, all custom front end dash. He did, he built by hand, of course, uh, for all the things he needed. He has original uh, CB in there from there. It still works to this day. Only thing I've done to it is I put an upgraded stereo in it and I had to put some vents in the front end for the AC to, to work properly to get some more uh, coolness in here. Uh, with Keith being from Colorado, he didn't need the AC very much, but from Texas, you gotta have that AC. Uh, everything else is as is. Uh, I love the way it is. As you can see, he's uh, making work on the doors, trim. Uh, he's, he did so much work on everything. He got some stuff set up here for drivers. You can put your little uh, phone here if you need to, and you drink there. Um, he did a great, very excellent job with the matching up of the wood. Uh, whiskey sent on a course has his, per se the name of course there's uh, whiskey themed uh, interior let me show you the interior of my van here uh, the guy again Keith Gilo uh, did an excellent job on this I think he was ahead of his time when he built this in the early early 90s as you can see uh, plenty of cabinet space all wood uh, has a wood floor from the rear to the front uh, firewall uh, two swivel chairs high quality chairs very comfortable to drive in I've uh, been driving those for quite a while and they're very, very comfortable. Uh, as you can see uh, from the uh, stories I've heard, uh, he had a son at the time when he was vanning. Uh, he vanned for a short time. Uh, his, van, his son did sit in that chair, uh, which had an old, uh, has an old 110, an old TV that he that used to play all the time. Uh, a sunroof in the back there, some more storage spaces on top. Uh, I kept the original clock there, still keeps a very good time. Um, and the last thing I heard about him was that Keith and the Center are now building uh, custom Jeeps at a shop up near Conifer, Colorado. Headliner, uh, great job by the headliner he did. I have a matching uh, uh, under the hood that matches that. It's out there. Uh, we'll see that tomorrow on the show. Um, he's got those wooden little wooden lights there. Right. Uh, also, the back, he did some extra work on the back, as you can see, uh, the uh, wood trim. He paid some extra pinstriping, did a great job on all of this. Um, the back doors open up very nicely, uh, has a good looking design to it. Again, the wood is perfectly set, it looks so good. Um, this back can be done several things. I choose it to carry all my uh, road gear stuff. I keep all my spare and my road gear stuff underneath here, as always, to be safe on the highway. Gloves, working gloves, whatever you need. Um, this could be serve as a wet bar if possible, but it doubles as my storage for some tools that I need to carry off and on. And of course, 
uh, if it gets cold, I got a little uh, closet here for my boots and boots and jackets that go in there if, I, if need be. I kept everything that Keith did. I thought the theme of the truck is very, very nice. Uh, I get a lot of thumbs up on the highway and I really enjoy driving this truck. All right, uh, again, my 88 Chevy Astro Whiskey Sundown. I'm very proud of this truck. Uh, again, all, all the rights go to Keith Kilo for building this truck, the fantastic truck that he built. And I just wanna say that this is a Colorado truck that now resides in Texas. Thank you very much for watching. Um, Marty Vieira again, Arlington, Texas. See you on the road.